Eight of the original 15 Americans from the Diamond Princess cruise ship remain on the UNMC Nebraska Medical Center campus. One guest cleared yesterday left the National Quarantine Unit this morning. One person continues to be treated in the Nebraska Biocontainment Unit and seven are being monitored in the quarantine unit. As the coronavirus continues to spread, researchers are looking at ways to track and potentially stop the spread of the disease on UNO's campus. There's a group of researchers who are tracking the virus, not under a microscope, but on the computer screen. Welcome to the world of bioinformatics. This is the virus laid out, so this is its entire genome. Science has a facelift in the 21st century. This codes for one part of the virus. This codes for another part of the virus. In a biology lab, you'd find test tubes. In bioinformatics, big data is the name of the game. We use compu computational resources to look at this type of data. We take the data from the individual experiments, we aggregate it together, and we do large-scale analyses on that data. And that means that they have all diverged from the same parent. And Dr. Kate Cooper showed me how researchers are tracking coronavirus. Each node in the tree represents a person or a strain of the virus. Scholars across the globe are sharing the genomic information to databases like this. Because all of these nodes right here are closely related, are, are similar to one another, that means that they are closely related. Each color you see corresponds to the region and spread of the coronavirus. If you would, were to see that um, it was actually a bunch of imported cases from Wuhan, these red nodes would actually be spread out across the trees. Dr. Cooper studied multiple diseases. She says the coronavirus isn't anything out of the ordinary data-wise. Looking at it from a bioinformatics perspective, it's kind of, it's just a regular run-of-the-mill virus. My concern is not about the virus itself, it's for the stress that it could put on our, our, our health infrastructure. And it might surprise you how they're tracking the coronavirus. Researchers are using Twitter to share their information and help find a cure faster. You're trying to get your research out as quick as possible, and then they're advertising it on Twitter and engaging in discussion. It's a very useful kind of central resource for us as uh, scientists to get new information. The coronavirus won't be cured in this lab, but tracking the data, its genetic makeup, and understanding how the virus spreads are important steps in understanding the coronavirus. They're trying to predict how many cases that we will have, but they're doing it in real time in response to the emergency. It's important to know the UNO Bioinformatics Lab isn't running this research. They're solely tracking the data. Information on the coronavirus is updated daily, so Dr. Cooper said her team is continually monitoring its spread and teaching students how to interpret the ever-changing data. The coronavirus may seem scary to a lot of people, and on top of that, it can be difficult to explain it to your child. Melissa St. Germain is a pediatrician with Children's Physicians at West Village Point. She says you can describe the virus to your child as something similar to the flu. It's also a good idea to encourage them to practice good hygiene, like reminding them to wash their hands and avoid touching their face. And she adds that if parents became stressed over the situation, kids can be affected too. Well, if, you know, the adults that surround them are very anxious about um, this infection, then kids pick up on that too. So I think reassuring them that this is a germ, it's uh, a germ like the flu, and we can stop the spread of it the same way that we stop the spread of influenza. As the virus continues to spread, here are some important health tips. Make sure you are sneezing into your arm, staying home from work or school if sick, and wash your hands frequently and wiping down shared surfaces. We keep hearing about the importance of washing your hands, but how many of us are washing our hands correctly? Here are five tips to help you wash your hands the right way.
Federal health officials have issued new guidance on testing for the coronavirus. The CDC said that any American with a doctor's order can be tested with no restrictions. This removes earlier restrictions that limited testing for the virus. The CDC said clinicians should now use their judgment to determine if a patient has signs and symptoms compatible with coronavirus and whether the patient should be tested.